result of Patterson's actions and are planning to open four inquests. I'm glad now that finally they're looking at those, those deaths. So out of 1,206 mastectomy patients um, in 2012 that were investigated, 675 as of 2012 had died and many more have died since then. On to other news, and a man's been jailed for nine months for spitting in the face of a police officer. 57-year-old Guy Turner spat at the officer after he was arrested at his home in Redditch on Tuesday. Police describe the attack as utterly disgusting. Now, pubs and restaurants reopen to the public tomorrow for the first time since March. But in the towns of Nuneaton and Bedworth, health officials are concerned it could mean a spike in cases. With Leicester just a few miles away, there are fears that Super Saturday, as it's being called, could lead to another lockdown if social distancing is ignored. Our special correspondent, Peter Wilson, reports. Nuneaton and Bedworth have seen higher than average cases of COVID throughout this pandemic. At the local hospital, 30 people have died just in the past few weeks. But from tomorrow, this part of North Warwickshire still plans to reopen pubs and restaurants. So I do think there's, a, there's relative danger, to be honest. That's why I'm not really... I mean, I, I, we enjoy going out for food and we enjoy having a, a, a pint like everybody else, but not under the present circumstances, no. Tomorrow night and have a few beers. Brilliant. That's my opinion. I think it's too early for anywhere at the moment, yeah. I won't be doing it. Signs of caution are everywhere, and it's here that I met the local director of public health. I'm, I'm telling people to um, proceed and act with a lot of caution. Um, the risk is not over. COVID-19 is still very much with us. I understand that people want to go out and have a pint and interact with friends, but my message would be to do so safely. The army have been running a mobile test station in Nuneaton. The town is just a dozen miles or so from Leicester.